Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a 5-Minute Friday on Hunky Vape. Three, two, one. I'm DJ Alex. This is your 5-Minute Friday for September 18th, 2020. Our first article for today. FDA issues warnings to businesses selling flavored disposable vapes. Now the focus of this uh, attention from the FDA is specifically to eliminate the youth addiction problem that they are claiming is a rampant issue across this country. However, there are studies that have uh, already demonstrated that it isn't anything like what they have said it is. Our next article for today. This comes from a uh, customer who purchased something from Heaven Gifts. And as it turns out, their uh, payment was suspended by PayPal and reversed. So you're going to start seeing the financial aspect of things being enforced. And PayPal is going to start going after these uh, vendors where we are purchasing our items from overseas. Speaking of overseas, there is an article here from Vaping360. In India, vapors will be protesting the ban uh, today, September 18th, is the one year anniversary where all vapor products were banned in India. It says, we are bringing vapors together to raise our objection against the draconian ban by the government on September 18th last year. This was said by AVI director Samarat Chaudhary in a statement. Due to this arbitrary decision, efforts taken to promote harm reduction to reduce India's tobacco health burden have been wasted. In our country, where nearly a million people die of smoking every single year. It is important to promote risk reduction tools and sensitize people about them. Go to vapingindia.org if you'd like to find out more about their protest that they're currently undertaking. Next article comes directly from the FDA. Apparently they've been putting some updates out since we've been complaining about not knowing what's going on with the uh, pre-market tobacco applications that have already been filed. How many people have filed? And they do have a website where will be linked in the description below. It uh, documents that in July there was 36 PMTA submitted. In August there was an additional 765 applications submitted. According to this website, which is run by the FDA, it says that so far for fiscal year 2020 to date they've received 1,034 applications. Now this doesn't include anything that was submitted in September. Year to date is 1,034. Total received since the pre-market tobacco application process was created is 1,451. However, if you go to the other website where you see pre-market uh, product orders, pre-market tobacco product marketing orders, there has been zero change. There have been no new additional pre-market product marketing orders issued by the FDA. And if you look at the original website we uh, posted a couple days ago and also a couple weeks ago, the cumulative number of pre-market tobacco product applications received since program inception has not changed. They still have it listed as 650. The last one that we have for today, this comes from the Vaping Bogan down in Australia. They're dealing with the prohibition of nicotine imports and their government is uh, fighting hard to make you go to a pharmacy to purchase them. However, none of the pharmacies in the country know anything about distributing nicotine. So uh, Bogan forgives me a little bit. I'm gonna play a couple of things. I'm gonna leave a, dir a direct link in the description below so you can actually watch his entire video. But this is a rude awakening for a lot of people and they're doing it the right way. They're focusing all their energy and attention. They're gonna be putting out commercials on TV to inform all the people in Australia about this problem. And he's actually doing a lot here by donating some very rare items 
And if you go and you donate to athra.org, you can um, help the advocacy in Australia quite a bit. He's also got links on his Facebook account, and also you can look in the description at the bottom of his video. But uh, here's a couple uh, seconds from his video, let you know what's going on. There's been more government fuckery afoot, dickheads. Time to fight back. G'day dickheads, how the fuck are you lot? Hope you're all doing tip top. We are not tip top down here in Australia. Well, the vaping situation is not tip top. If you remember back just only a few months ago, the Australian government tried to amend existing legislation on nicotine, basically changing it so that we would no longer be able to import nicotine. Now, quick little backstory. Australia hasn't been able to sell or supply nicotine or Australians haven't been able to sell or supply nicotine since before vaping became a thing. It's a section seven poison, which prevents the sale and supply of it. However, there's a gray area loophole which allowed us to import our own nicotine from overseas and then add that to our liquids. So thousands and thousands of Australians over the last five, six, seven years have moved from smoking over to vaping product. All right, you're gonna have to watch the rest of it on his channel. It's the Vaping Bogan. I'm sure if you uh, Google it, you can find it. You can search for it in YouTube and he's having a waffle to save Australian vaping. Uh, nicotine ban is coming and they need advocacy and they need money to pay for these commercials to inform the public that vaping saves lives. This is the conclusion of your five minute Friday. I appreciate you watching. We'll have more news and advocacy for you next week. Y'all have a great day and enjoy your weekend.